It's a matter of fact that the interest rate will start increasing. It's not a question of if but when. There are many reasons but one of the major reasons for this eminent increase in interest rate is the increase in money supply or the money printing that is going on to soften the blow of COVID-19 on the economy. Thus in this video I am going to talk about the topic interest rate increasing. Also I will try to explain what is an interest rate, relationship between interest rate and COVID-19, its effect on the stock market and the economy, why Fed influences the interest rate and last but not the least its effect on you and me. Hi, my name is Sunny. Welcome to my channel Sunny Snippets. Here I try to make videos that affect a common man financially. If you are new to this channel, please smash that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm and it will be highly appreciated. In very simple terms, interest rate is the percentage of interest a lender charges when you borrow money from them. So higher the interest rate, higher will be the cost of borrowing. Lower the interest rate, lower will be the cost to borrow that money. This affects the borrowers in negative or a positive way as far as their cost of borrowing is concerned depending upon how high or low the interest rates are. This is a very simple explanation of interest rate but in reality there are different types of interest rates depending upon the borrower and the lender like private, corporate or the government. Out of all the interest rates, the most important interest rate is the one set up by the Fed. Since the Fed controls the money supply and the monetary policy in the US, so out of all the interest rates, the most important interest rate is the one set up by the Fed. That is why interest rate affects us directly or indirectly because that influences the interest rates on our borrowings which can be a mortgage, line of credit, car loan, credit card debt, student loan to name a few. The increase or decrease in interest rate affects our economy, the stock market, real estate, our spending and other things where we touch the money in our day-to-day -day lives. In 2020, the world has seen the pandemic in form of COVID-19. To control the infection rate, the governments all over the world has gone to the extent of shutting down non-essential parts of the economy resulting in severe blow to these sectors. I would say all the sectors of the economy are affected but non-essential part of the economy is the worst affected resulting in huge job losses. In its effect to support the economy in 2020, the Fed has done the quantitative easing called QE thus increasing the money supply in the system. In simple terms, it is money printing going on. Now in 2021, there is a fear that with so much money printing going on in the US along with the rest of the world, it's a matter of time the inflation will go up. In normal times, Fed tries to control the inflation around 2% but because of so much money printing going on, financial experts are saying inflation will go beyond this 2% range. Therefore, in order to control inflation, ultimately the interest rates have to increase. But it's not a matter of if but when the interest rate increase happens. The recent jump in bond yield is the first indication that inflation will be creeping up. Thus, interest rates will be increasing. As a result, there was a sell-off in the stock market. The Fed chair has tried to calm the markets by saying that they don't foresee interest rates going up at least until the end of 2021 and they are willing to accept inflation over their 2% target rate. The change in interest rate by the Fed ultimately affects all the interest rates around the world which has a direct impact on the stock market. As the interest rate goes up, the money moves from stocks to bond as the yield on the bond becomes attractive thus resulting in a sell-off in the stocks. This sentiment in the stock market was very clear a few weeks ago when the bond yield jumped, resulting in sell-off in growth and technology stocks, wiping out billions in investors' money. That was just a hint by the bond market 
Now you can imagine if there is an actual interest rate increase. If the interest rate goes up, then your mortgage will go up, resulting in drop in real estate, thereby negatively affecting real estate companies. All this will affect a common man's stock portfolio, which includes their retirement funds. I think eventually Fed has to increase interest rates. The reason will be to control inflation. Inflation is bad as that reduces the purchasing power of the money in your pocket. But increasing interest rate has its problems too. As we know, the Fed has printed tons of money to support slowing economic activity because of COVID-19. When the interest rate eventually increase, the first thing that will be affected is the stock market. People have put in their hard-earned money in their pension funds, which are invested in stock market. Therefore, if the stock market falls, people's retirement accounts are negatively affected, thus eroding billions of dollars from their pension accounts. Increasing interest rate means you have to pay more towards your liabilities, thus reducing the availability of free money in your pocket, which in turn reduces spending and impacts the GDP in a very bad way. It will also increase the payment on your car loan, increase your student loan payments, etc. So in nutshell, increasing interest rates will have a ripple effect on all the borrowings, whether it's personal, corporate, or for that matter, government, which is bad for economy. The US and its mighty US dollar got an important position in the world economy, which is its status as world's reserve currency. It means US monetary policy has got a direct impact on the world economy. As a result, the increase or decrease of interest rates will affect the world economy in a good or a bad way. As an example, if the Fed reduces interest rate, that reduces the cost of borrowing for people and businesses, thereby increasing the rate of growth of US and the world economy. On the flip side, if the Fed increases interest rate to control inflation, that increases the cost of borrowing, so it will negatively affect US as well as the world economy. Interest rate is one thing that affects everybody who touches money in any form or shape. The fast way of propping up economy is with money printing at low interest rate, which is what we are seeing these days. But these has got its drawbacks as it creates asset bubbles. If you look at it in a very simplistic way, Fed is supplying money at ultra low interest rates, so people are borrowing at these low interest rates and putting that money into assets like stocks or real estate. Now, all of a sudden, when this cycle reverses and the Fed starts increasing interest rates, people will get out of these frothy assets, which will affect stock market, real estate, etc. That will result in wiping out billions of dollars of people's wealth along with it. If you have got a variable mortgage going in for fixed rate can be an option if you don't want to sell it in near future. When we have to pay more money to service the same debt because all of a sudden interest rates have increased, that will reduce available money in my pocket that I can spend. This reduction in spending by people and businesses will affect the economy in a very negative way. I think interest rates are not going to increase tomorrow. So there's no need to panic. Rather, educate yourself, explore the options that you have so that when that time comes and there is an increase in interest rate, you're not caught off guard and without a plan. This is my take on the topic, interest rate increasing. As this rate has got so much bearing on your financial lives, so it is a must that we educate ourselves. One more important thing that I want to put emphasis on is that this education is not one-time thing. Instead, make it an ongoing habit. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Please feel free to write in the comment section about the topic I have touched based on today and I would urge you to write in this section if you want me to make videos about a specific topic. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time in the next video on your own channel, Sunny Snippets.